local people, many of them young, living near Grenfell Tower, are taking part in a theatre project in the run-up to the anniversary of the fire. The play is called The Burning Tower and explores the issues, including that of social housing. It uses interviews with people who escaped and those who witnessed it. Aisha Buksh went to see the rehearsals. It's the pain and anger felt by so many and an expression of the grief and strength of a community. No one's man enough to say that missing, missing means dead. Based on testimonies of survivors of the Grenfell Tower fire, this play uses professional actors and local people, some of whom say they were deeply affected by what happened. Dealing with such a traumatic event, not just people who were in Grenfell, people who, like myself, witnessed it, um, it's, it's a lot to get your head around and this, in a way, it sort of helps me tackle my issues that I have um, and deal with my grief. This read-through at the Maxilla Social Club was organised by the Spid Theatre Company. Its artistic director wrote the play, which she's called The Burning Tower. It's wonderful to be able to take direct inspiration from these amazing people, uh, the survived, the bereaved, uh, the locals, and that is what's formed the foundation of this play. The voices of those residents can be heard echoing throughout the script. Tell me what you think I've done. The theatre company has long worked with residents living on council estates in West London. Following the fire, many of their projects now deal with the social issues it exposed. So a lot of people don't really understand that just because you might you may be from like a poorer background that you still have you know, equal rights, you know, you should still be able to live in a safe environment and things like this shouldn't happen to anyone, no matter what sort of economic background you come from. These are internalised stories that the people of the local area have. And so through allowing them to write their own stories, create their own plays, give their own opinions, art forms that cathartic release that is all important as part of the healing process. At the end of August, the play will go on tour to theatres across the country. It's hoped with the ongoing Grenfell Inquiry, this production will help with the healing process. Aisha Baksh, BBC London News. Right, so that's about it from me. I'll be here later with our 10.30 programme. But for now, from all of us here, whatever you're doing, do have a lovely evening. Bye for now.